When it comes to companion planting, that's planting different plants together so that one plant benefits another, there are literally thousands of possible combinations and lots and lots of opinions to match. So whose advice can you trust and just what are the best combinations? In a recent survey, users of our garden planner told us the feature they'd most like to see was one to help them with their companion planting. So we've spent many long months diligently researching just that, so you can spend mere seconds selecting the right companion planting combinations for your garden. Here's the results. There are many ways to use companion planting to benefit your garden. It can help control pests, suppress weeds and even boost plant growth. The new companion planting feature in our garden planner makes it easier than ever for you to find the perfect matches for your plants. Simply select a crop, these lettuces for example, then click on the companion planting button shown by the heart icon here. The selection bar now shows only those plants that lettuce will love. Now you can select one and drop it into place. You can also select companion plants by choosing companion plants from the drop down menu. If you're looking for a companion plant to fit between two crops, hold down the shift key and click on each crop. Click the companion plants button and the plants in the selection bar are filtered to show companions suitable for either of the selected crops. Now how about something for the front of this bed? It's got a range of crops in it, so this time we'll use the selection tool to highlight all of the crops. Then once again, click on the heart to view their companions. Hmm, I think some marigolds would look great and they'll help to attract pest predators. When you select companions for more than one plant, the selection bar will show all of the possible companion plants for each of the individual crops selected. Using an add-on approach like this keeps the selection process simple while giving you a wider range of companions to choose from. With many thousands of possible companion planting combinations, we decided from the start to include only those backed up by scientific evidence. Research must have proved why they're good companion plants. We wanted proven associations, not just hearsay. So let's look at a few examples of companion plant pairings that made the grade. Many flowering plants attract pest-eating insects. Poached eggplants are great at drawing in hoverflies, which control aphids on nearby lettuce. Borage is known to attract both bees and tiny pest-eating wasps, making it a great companion for tomatoes. While another scientific study found that crimson clover grown with broccoli expanded the local spider population, which in turn controlled pests. Some companion plants, such as nasturtium, lure insect pests away from crops. Nasturtium is often planted close to fava or broad beans, so that black fly will gorge themselves on the nasturtiums while ignoring the beans. The same companion also attracts hungry caterpillars away from brassicas like cabbage. Some plants have a very strong smell, confusing pests by masking the scent of its host plant. Garlic, for example, has been found to deter the green peach aphid, so we've included it as a perfect companion to vulnerable fruits such as peaches and nectarines. In many instances, plants make suitable companions because they offer some sort of physical advantage. Tall growing sunflowers offer both shade and support for scrambling cucumbers and climbing beans, which in hotter climates can become sun stressed. Another example is the three sisters method of growing beans, corn and squash together. In this famous threesome, the large leaves of sprawling squash help to smother weeds, while beans and corn return the favour by disorientating squash vine borers, a major pest in America. The beans also use the corn as a support to scramble up, while fixing nitrogen at their roots to the benefit of the other sisters. Legumes such as peas and beans are often used to aid other crops with their nitrogen-fixing abilities. One experiment saw the size of potato tubers increase when potatoes were planted with beans. Similarly, borage has been shown to add trace minerals to the soil, which in turn improves both the flavour and growth of strawberries. Some plants can negatively affect others. This could be due to competition from, for example, shallow roots, or in the case of black walnut and fennel, because they release chemicals that actively inhibit growth of many plants. We've chosen not to include these in our garden planner because there are so few examples of bad companions. Often the evidence is sparse, and a lot of bad companion planting is down to just common sense. You wouldn't, for example, plant sun-loving tomatoes in the shade of an apple tree. 
Companion planting can certainly help you with your growing, but it's important not to get too fixated by it. Crop rotation, the correct spacing, and of course, good soil management are still the most important influences on your growing. Think of companion planting as a bonus, the icing on the cake, if you will. Of course, many gardeners have their own tried and tested companion planting combinations they know and trust. If that's you, let us know about it by dropping a comment below. And with the new gardening year comes new resolutions. Make yours to learn more about gardening by subscribing to our video channel. I'll catch you next time.